check it out guys we're about to do some mining just came out of this mine and we're about to go up to the top of this one you gotta be careful with these rock these loose rocks from this waste pile because you will slip and eat it in a bad way In there? No, it just goes all along here and it goes down in there. But yeah, it looks a lot more impressive. The last time I was up here, somebody had been up here and got it all out. It's green stuff right there. Purple stuff. It's a big ass. Oh, this is a vein right here. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. up here? Looks like somebody put this here on yeah, purpose. Probably would have been like a rock structure or something. Oh yeah, if you get beyond this weather and stuff, it gets really dark. There's nothing down in there? It's the stops, it's pretty shallow. Like I said, it's pretty well overgrown in there. Have know. you been higher up this way? I've been all the way to the top. Is there anything else up here? No rattles yet. Said so no rattles yet. This appears to be a mine road. Is this just a mine road that zigzags up? It doesn't lead to anything though? Alright, I'm going back down then. Yeah, I'm definitely going back down. This looks sketchy. Be very careful doing this type of stuff. One slip is all it would take to ruin any one of my cameras, specifically my very expensive Nikon that I have dangling in my pocket. <laughs> Drop it once on the rock, mess up the massive um, lens on it, or the back LCD screen, that would suck too. Cameras are very fragile, very expensive. Take care of them as best you can. Yeah. They took all the good stuff. There's some dark stuff here, but it's tiny. It's got a little blue in it. They're small though. Is this a crystal cave or the, uh, farther? Yeah, crystal caves. We, just, we gotta drive back down and go over where that switchback was. Yeah. At this point, there's probably there. more in there than out here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of it in there. A lot of it's fractured though. I used to use a railroad tie. Uh, you know, like a yeah. spike. So I went out and got these. I gotta sharpen this sucker up. You guys put that one to work. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that the one from Tanuko? Yeah. I have a couple other ones in there. Oh yeah, you can see there's a purple. Oh, here we go. Here's some darker stuff right here. Yeah, right here. That. Oh, that one's still attached. There we go. Found some good stuff. I mean, 
you chip that. That's that. nice. That one's almost in its like octahedron shape. Same with this one. That's cool, dude. See, it's almost like the diamond. Yeah, I've got one that owes at home, but it's been like polished and done professionally. Yeah. I let mine sit in muriatic acid for two days. Did that work? It got like a lot of junk off. It doesn't make it perfect, but you still gotta like facet it and stuff. <coughs> yeah, it's all hidden underneath there. Under this caliche? This has no value other than just being pretty though. Yeah. I mean, once that one gets cleaned off, it'll... I'm gonna drop that one in acid? Yeah, I might. I don't know. I mean, I like the ones that you can see through. See, this one's kind of opaque, you can't see through it. Some yellowish stuff. Yeah, there's some darker stuff. Yeah. I don't think that's fluorite though, it could no. be something else. For all you know, that could be fucking uranium right there. <laughs> it's you know? I'm irradiating myself. Geiger meter up here. Oh, there's a nice piece. Yeah, here's some darker stuff right here. This is a cool piece that could benefit from acid. Oh, that would probably take like a week to get all that off. What would it look like though? Like all that white stuff? Yeah. It'll be like eaten away. So it'll be like all these voids in the rock. It's pretty neat. I did like a one-to-one -one mixture. I might just get a little bit more uh, aggressive and just do straight up. Straight acid. <laughs> I did that one time and it fucking ate away the, the rock. Yeah? It like ate the whole thing. I even put Peridot in there to see what it would do. From the Killborn? Yeah. And it was, it was oxidizing something. Wow, this is some dark green shit right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the dark band. That's what used to be there. Somebody picked away at Smashed it. Smashed it open. Wow. Yeah, they might have brought like a freaking jackhammer up here for all I know. Well, they have the electric ones now. Oh, yeah. The 40 volt batteries. Yeah. I got a 40 volt battery now, so I might go and get like a rotary hammer or something. Yeah, one of them Hilti ones. Mm hmm. Here we go. Yeah, here's a, a dark vein right here. I just don't want to break it. This stuff's so brittle. Oh yeah, that's nice. Come here, get a better look. Oh yeah, it's got some color in it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of here. You want to just it's kind loose. Of scratch it? Yeah. I was scratching it with the. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> you can you can yeah. have like a whole planter full of that, you know? Yeah. So they grind this down and make it into some, uh, acid, right? Oh, uh, hydrofluoric acid, fluoride, uh, fluoride, and all this other, all this stuff out of fluoride. The old timers called it spar, fluor spar. That's not much in there, huh? It's a big ass chunk of it, but yeah, I have, I have, I have two of these in front of my house. Do you? It's kind of like a yard ornament. Yeah, I want to get, I want to get right here. That looks like that's the pay. That spot. right there. Yeah. Go for it. I'm gonna come down here and see what's in this thing. Be alert, man. I don't like overgrown spots. Especially in the dusk. They'll let me know. I'm sure of it. 